It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, I decided to open up a TikTok and the role of TikTok is pretty much crazy. Every single time I open up my TikTok, there's always a crazy video that I see on my timeline. And for today's video, I'm gonna respond to a black woman who's basically claiming oppression because she cannot get a job at a place in Texas. And so without further hesitation, let us respond to the video that she made. I just want to get right here and say, the way, the way the Spanish culture, the Spanish people have made it so difficult for one like me to get a job where I'm from the country that I've been oppressed in. How do you make it difficult for me to get a job? But I would never make it difficult for you to get a job. We're both the minority. I go to this interview, Mesa Maya downtown in Dallas, Texas. Texas, I fucking hate Texas. I hate Texas. I don't belong here. I, I really want to leave. But I live in Texas. And I'm probably over fucking reacting. But bitch, I lived in El Paso, Texas for four, almost five years. And do you know how fucking racist they are towards me? Do you know how hard it was to live there? Do you know how hard it was to get a job? Do you know I can't go in to a job and be myself? And I live in America? Me? Y'all can't, y'all can't be serious right now. And it's just been so hard. I get into this place for an interview. Mind you, I was on time. My appointment was at two o'clock. This other girl walks in. She's Hispanic. She gets seen before me. They're speaking to her right beside me, interviewing her. They wait 15 to almost 20 minutes to come and talk to me. And then approach me speaking nothing but Spanish. I answered a few questions because I do understand some Spanish. Enough Spanish to get me by. He goes full blown, full blown Spanish on me. I let him know I'm not I'm not fluent in Spanish. Do I need to be fluent in Spanish to get this job? He says, yes. And then he starts speaking to me in English. Like he's like he's a homie on the street. Like he know all our lingo and everything. But you couldn't give me this job because I'm not fluent in Spanish. And this is America. You cannot be serious right now. First and foremost, it's very important to distinguish between a Spanish person and a Hispanic. A Spanish person or a Spaniard is somebody that is born in Spain. Meanwhile, a Hispanic is somebody that comes directly from a Spanish-speaking country. So while it's true that every single last Spaniard is a Hispanic, not every single Spanish-speaking person comes directly from Spain. She also mentioned the video and argue that how come I'm required to speak a different language if I'm born in the United States? Now, first of all, it's very important to say that the main reason why businesses require other people to speak another language is to get as many clients as much as possible. And so economically, it just does not make any sort of sense to limit yourself to just English because of the whole entire market besides the English speaking world. And so while it's true that English is a global language, it's also important to have markets and other languages too. In terms of linguistic demographics, we don't have an official language, but English by default is a de facto language because the vast majority of Americans speak English as their first language. Meanwhile, Spanish itself is by far the second most spoken language in the United States. The United States, through manifest destiny, had acquired 
many different territories from different countries. And so a large part of the Louisiana territory was part of France and a large part of the Southwest was part of Spain and after Spain it was part of Mexico and also for the state of Florida it was also part of Spain and Puerto Rico was part of Spain too but of course United States won against the Spaniards within that war to get the territories of Puerto Rico. Spanish culture for the most part continued to influence American culture to this very day. For example the dollar symbol comes directly from Spain. The idea of the cowboy came directly from Spain in a place that was called Andalusia. Many of our state flags continue to have many Spanish symbols that come directly from Spain. Also, the border states have a humongous fusion of Mexican culture and Anglo-American culture. So linguistically and cuisine-wise, I would say that Hispanic culture has played a humongous part in our country. And so it's in my eyes, I don't necessarily see Spanish as really a foreign language in our country. I would say Spanish is as American as of course speaking English here. Earlier in the video, she mentioned that she's from Dallas, Texas. Now according to the data, the vast majority of the population from Dallas are pretty much Hispanic which is why, of course, businesses over there will require more people to speak Spanish in comparison to other parts of the country. Unfortunately, our educational systems in terms of languages in the United States is not that great because for the most part, most public schools do not require kids to learn a second language until high school. And of course, for high school, they take it for at least two years and basically forget everything. And so our education on foreign languages is just awful. And I think that kids should learn other languages besides English. And so I think that they should learn English and a foreign language throughout the whole entire public school career from elementary school to high school. That way more people can get exposed to different ideas and different cultures. And unfortunately the woman in the video it's just a byproduct of the educational system that we have here. According to the data, Spanish is actually one of the easiest languages for English speakers to learn. If my sorry ass can actually speak Spanish in front of a Hispanic audience on a Spanish speaking channel, then anybody can actually do it. What do you guys think about the situation? Is she overreacting, underreacting? Tell me in the comment section down below. If she's the victim, and she's not the victim. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.